coming to you live from the MVG Production Studios on YouTube. It's everyone's favorite game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. This is Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's your host, the star of Tic Tac Toe, the master of the X's and O's, Brandon Scruff. And welcome into another edition of Tic Tac Doe right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here today. Um, on our last episode, we saw our champion crowned, and he has done fairly well for himself in the last one. Uh, he's picked up um, a bit nice chunk of change. So let's meet let's meet him now. Our current champion on the show, Mr. Mark Leota. Mark, welcome in. Thank you, Brent. Good to be back here on Tic Tac Doe once again, and good to be back in the champion spot again. I know, it's been a while, but I have to say, I have to make a small uh, clerical error on my part from last episode. Uh, I had forgotten originally to add in your winnings from the main game, along with what you had won in the la previous bonus round, sir. So, so far, for your two wins here on the show in your current run, you actually have a very healthy total now of $35,900. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Ready to see if you add some more to it? I am ready. Well, let's meet your opponent now, playing in the circle position for this first game of your tic tac toe. From our from Baltimore, Maryland, we have Mr. Marty Bingo. Marty, welcome in. It has been so long since I've been on this show. Yeah, man. Yeah, probably <laughs> sometime like early season two, I want to say. Maybe it would have been the last time you were on. But I'm glad you were able to make you find your way back yeah. here again. Yeah. Yeah, good to be. Yeah, since it's been a while, Mario, remind the good folks at home a little bit about yourself. Well, it's probably been updated since then. The name's Marty Bingo. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I am currently right now a college student studying business administration. Fantastic. And what is the uh, goal after college for you? Uh, hopefully to get my CPA. Okay. Uh, get in the job. Fantastic. Well... Hopefully you're ready to practice some of that number crunching ability here with a big win here today. You ready to play? Let's do it. All right, well, best of luck to you. Let's get right into our first game of Tic-Tac-Toe. <coughs> you guys know how this works. You pick a category off the board and answer the question correctly. You'll get to put an X or O up on the board. First player to get Tic-Tac-Toe either cross up or down and diagonally wins the game, all the cash to the pot, and moves on to the bonus round. Remember, the outside boxes are worth $200 a piece. Center box is always a two-part question, and it's worth $300. Of course, you get that extra time to think about it. And we have some red categories up there that are special categories. We'll talk about those when we get to them. And I will say, let's get right to our first game and take a look at the nine subjects we'll be using in this first game of Tic-Tac-Toe. And they are the following. We have Take a Letter, Opponent's Choice, Television, Science and Technology, General Knowledge, The Arts, The Bonus Category, Secret Category, and finally Sports and Hobbies. I will go ahead and say one thing about one of the red categories up there. Our bonus categories, players, it's a three-part question. Answer all three parts of that question correctly. You will get another turn immediately, okay? So keep that in mind. And as always, our champion gets to start off the match. Mark, you're in the exposition. Go ahead and pick a subject. All right. Uh, how about we start with sports and hobbies, please, Brandon? All right, going sports and hobbies, lower right-hand corner. Here comes your first question of the day. Under sports and hobbies, sir. All right, what color is the dreaded line that contestants on The Biggest Loser do not want to fall below lest they be voted off the show? Again, what color is the dreaded line that contestants on The Biggest Loser do not want to fall below lest they be voted off the show? For the box, what color is the line? Uh, and this is a show I don't watch, sadly. <sighs> Uh, the red line? Good guess. I mean, typically no. would be right, but not in this case. I'm sorry. No. Uh, Marty, you know it? It's been so long since I've watched this show. I don't remember. It's actually the yellow line. It's the yellow uh, line. That's, that's the, the other one I was thinking. That's right. That's right. All right. So no box there. We'll shuffle the categories up. And we'll let our challenger pick. Go ahead, Marty. Let's go and take a letter. I'm going to take a letter, lower left-hand corner. I will give you the first letter to a your answer in this question. 
in this category. All you have to do is answer the question, all right? Um, your letter in this this one, Marty, is W. Letter W. Okay. What W goes before the words base, chair, and barrow, and is an invention that man should never try to reinvent? Again, what W goes before base, chair, and barrow, and is an invention that man should never try to reinvent? For the box, amen. Uh, it's not. It's not what I thought. I, I. Okay. No. I think no guess. All right. No. I'm sorry. I think I might know it, Marty. Were you thinking of wheel? Now it just popped in my head. Yep. It is wheel. It is wheel. What we're looking uh, for there. Uh, oh. All right, so no two questions up, no bo no boxes claimed yet. So we'll shuffle the categories, and we'll let Mark choose. Okay, uh, how about I take a shot at take a letter? All right, let's see how you do with the take a letter question. Here comes your take a letter question. Here, um, your letter this time, Mark, is F. Letter F. What okay. F? are among the favorite prey of grass snakes and were once tadpoles. What F are among the favorite prey of grass snakes and were once tadpoles? For the box, name it. Uh, I'm glad this isn't Marty's question. Frog. Frog is correct. You got it. Put an X on the board. It, it's okay. I wouldn't own that anyway. It's all right. I would, either one of us would have gotten it, so it's okay. All right. $200 in the pot. Our first X on the board as we shuffle. And Marty, for your sake, I'm not going to do the primitive way. No, that is not bad. Marty, over to you. Uh, let's go television time. All right, going to television, lower right-hand corner. Question under television. All right, Marty, under television, here's your question. Aloysius is the first name of what famous Sesame Street character? Oh, my God. Aloysius is the first name of what famous Sesame Street character? For the box, uh, name him. Oh, God. I think I think I remember this. Uh, is it Snuffleupagus? Yeah, Snuffleupagus or Snuffies. Correct, okay. you got it. Well done. Put a circle on the board. Hey. Right? He would smack you silly if he didn't get that. There we go. Four hundred. Good job there. Four hundred dollars in the pot as we shuffle once again. Mark, back to you. Okay. All right. So that would have blocked me. So let's. Okay. Looks like I can't keep going down. So there's an O right below there. So let's try sports and hobbies. Going sports and hobbies. Top middle box. Here comes a sports and hobbies question for you. All right, well, who's thigh high slit in her black gown on Oscar night in 2012 got tweets galore when the actress activist theoretically displayed her right leg? Again, who's thigh high slit in her black gown on Oscar night in 2012 got tweets galore when the actress activist theoretically displayed her right leg? For the box, name the actress. Oh my god. <sighs> And you said this was the Academy Awards or something? Uh, this is the Oscars of 2012. Oh, the Oscars. Basically, basically Academy Awards, same thing. Yeah, awards shows are not my thing. I have no guess. No guess there? All right. Uh, the actress in question was Angelina Jolie. Oh. Angelina Jolie is what we're looking for there. All right, <clears throat> so no box there. Again, $400 remains in the pot as we shuffle. Right. Marty, back to you. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I guess let's go with the bonus category. Go Let me with, try it out. All right, going with the bonus category. Again, this question is a three-part question. Answer all three parts of the question correctly. You will get another turn immediately. Here comes your bonus question, sir. Okay. All right, Marty, for this bonus question, I need you to name me three of the four U.S. states that begin with the letter W. 
Again, three of the four U.S. states that begin with the letter W. Wyoming. That is one. Washington. That's two. One more. Oh, God. What are the other two? Oh, no. What are the other two? What's the other one? West Virginia. West Virginia is correct. You got it. Well done. Whoa. The other one, Whoa. the other one was Wisconsin. Wisconsin uh, was the other one you needed there. So well done. Wow, but Neil wins. Yep, you got the O on the board that puts six hundred dollars in the pot, and since you got the bonus category correct, you get another turn immediately. So let's shuffle. Hopefully it's a good one. All right, Marty, go ahead. Uh, okay, general knowledge for the win. Going for general knowledge in the center box. It's a two-part question. You'll get some extra time to think about it here. Get a, get this two-part question correct under general knowledge, Marty. It will be tic-tac-toe and $900, and you'll become the new champion. Here comes your two-part question under general knowledge. First off, first off, Marty, uh, Reginald Dwight is the original name of what pop star? Again, Reginald Dwight is the original name of what pop star? Is it A, Prince, B, Elton John, or C, Seal? That's your first one. And the second one is, which of these products, wh uh, sorry, which of these produces royal jelly? Again, which of these produces royal jelly? Is it A, squid, B, sheep, or C, a bee? Those are your two questions. Take some time to think about <laughs> All right, Marty, which one would you like to answer first? Uh, I guess I'll try the second one. Sure. Which of these produces royal jelly? Is it A, <clears throat> a squid, B, a sheep, or C, a bee? I've never heard of royal jelly, but I'm going to guess squid. No, I'm sorry. It's not squid. <laughs> it's actually a bee. It's actually what they use to feed their young once they're, original, once they're first born. So, mm. And the other question, Reginald Dwight is the original name of which pop star? The answer there, of course, Elton John. Elton John. Yeah, John. I, knew I knew that one. I knew that one. I knew it wasn't Prince because this was Prince Rogers and Nelson. All right. Yeah. So no box there. So we remain with $600 in the pot. Mark's still alive as we shuffle. Mark, go ahead. Uh, let's go with television this time. All right. Television in the center for a diagonal block of Marty. Again, two-part question under TV. Get some extra time to think about it. Here comes your two questions under TV, sir. First off for you, Mark, is this. All right, Angela is the theme song to what f famous sitcom? Angela is the th theme song to what famous sitcom? Is it A, My Three Sons, B, Taxi, or C, all in the family. That's your first one. Your second one is, in 2002, what cable television network aired its first original movie, Guilt by Association? Again, in 2002, what cable television network aired its first original movie, Guilt by Association? Is it A, TNT, B, TBS, or C, True TV? Those are your two questions. Take some time to think about them. All right, Mark, which one would you like to answer first? I'll try the first one. Sure. Angela is the theme song to what famous TV sitcom? Is it A, My Three Sons, B, Taxi, or C, All in the Family? Okay, uh, All in the Family, I'm pretty sure, had a different theme song than that. I think My Three Sons had a different one, too. So I would have to say Taxi. Taxi is correct. Now for the center box, $300 and the block. In 2002, what cable television network aired its first original movie, Guilt by Association? Is it A, TNT, B, TBS, or C, True TV? Guilt by Association. Uh, I don't think that would be TBS because they usually air comedies and stuff. I'm going to guess TNT. No, I'm sorry. Is it correct? Oh. It was True TV. 
back uh, then, back uh, then it was known as court TV. As well. Court TV back then. Mm-hmm. That was their uh, first. At least that was the right to rule out TBS. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're right there. Unfortunately, we just picked the wrong one, but that's okay. It's the game's still afoot. We have six hundred dollars in the pot as we shuffle. <laughs> Marty, another chance for you. Okay, sports and hobbies for the win. All right, get this question correct under sports and hobbies again. It is tic tac toe. $900, and you'll become the new champion. Two-part question under sports and hobbies. Of course, you'll get the extra time to think about it. First one is this, Marty. Which fast food chain reopened restaurants in Mexico in 2007 for the first time in 15 years, adding fries and ice cream to protect a U.S. to project a U.S. image? Again, which fast food chain reopened restaurants in Mexico in 2007 for the first time in 15 years, adding fries and ice cream to project a U.S. image? Name the fast food restaurant. That's the first one. And the second one is which company responding to complaints in 2014 that their foot long was only 11 inches long said the name was descriptive and not measurement related? Name Name the company there. Those are your two questions. Take some time to think about it. Uh, what is it? All right, Marty, which one do you want to go with? I'm going to go try the first one. Sure. Which fast food chain reopened restaurants in Mexico in 2007 for the first time in 15 years, adding fries and ice cream to project a U.S. image? <sighs> Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to guess Wendy's. I don't know. No, I'm sorry. It's not Wendy's. Uh, you have to. Uh, the clue here was the, the country in question, Mexico. We're looking for Taco Bell. It was Taco Bell. Mm. And the second one, uh, which company responding Subway. to complaints in 2014? Yes, it was Subway. Subway, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, so again, no box there. We still have $600 in the pot. We shuffle the categories again. Mark's still alive in this one. Oh, God. The arts, please. All right, arts in the center box for our blocks here. Again, another two-part question. You'll get a chance to uh, think about this one. Here's your two-part question under the arts. First off, Mark, we start with this. What beloved holiday tale about a boy named Ralphie enjoyed a limited musical run on Broadway from November 19th to December 30th in 2012? Name name the holiday tale. That's the first one. Your second one is, what food item does Jean Valjean spend 19 years in prison for for stealing in the musical Les Miserables, which ran on Broadway from 1987 to 2003? Is it A, a loaf of bread, B, a jug of wine, or C, a hunk of cheese? Those are your two questions. Take some time to think about it. All right, Mark, which one do you want to answer first? First one, please. Sure. What beloved holiday tale about a boy named Ralphie enjoyed a limited musical run on Broadway from November 19th to December 30th, 2012? A Christmas story. That is correct. For the center box, shoot your eye out, kid. Right, and for the center, for the center box and the block, what food item does Jean Valjean spend 19 years in prison for for stealing in the musical Les Misérables, which ran on Broadway from 1987 to 2003? Is it A, a loaf of bread, B, a jug of wine, or C, a hunk of cheese? Let's see, Les Misérables. Was it bread? It was a loaf of bread. You got the block. Well done. Oh. Two. Good job. Well done. Pop. Famous for uh, the opening number of the show, talking about his 19 years for stealing a loaf of bread. That's a harsh mm. punishment, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, ni- $900 in the pot. We got a block by Mark, and we shuffle. Marty, go ahead. Ah, uh, great. Just I need a bonus category for the block. All right, going bonus category for the block. Get this question correct. You'll have a diagonal block of Mark. And plus, you'll also get another turn immediately because it's our bonus category question. It's a three-parter. Must answer all three parts to get it correct. And in order to get that other turn, all right? 
All right, mm -hmm. Marty, let's, we're testing your musical knowledge here. Can you tell me the okay. names of the three members of the famous female pop group TLC? Oh, no, I don't know their names. Uh, I've heard of the band. I don't know their names. I don't. Take a... I do, sadly. <laughs> All right, I don't know their names. Okay. All right. No one's at the All right. That's all right. That's a... So we'll tell Will, go ahead, tell him. All right, TLC, so pay attention, okay? The one, the C, it's Chili. Mm -hmm. The one that played L was Lisa Left Eye Lopez, mm -hmm. rest in peace. And T is T Boz. That is correct. That's all three of their names there, so. Can't give that one to you, Marty. So we remain with $900 in the pot. Chance for Mark to win it on this shuffle. <laughs> And I have never heard of that, that name, in all honesty. Yeah. All yeah, right, we'll, right. we'll talk after the show. I'll, I'll educate you on a few of them. <laughs> but go ahead, Mark, your selection. General knowledge for the win. All right, get, get this question correct. Under general knowledge, it is tic-tac-toe for you $1,100, and you'll get another chance to take down the dragon. Here comes your question. Mark? Water is constituted from hydrogen and what other element? Again, water is constituted from hydrogen and what other element? For Tic Tac Dill at eleven hundred dollars, name it. They don't call it H two O for nothing. Oxygen. Oxygen is the correct answer. You got it for Tic Tac Dill. Congratulations to you, sir. That is another eleven hundred dollars. Add it to your winnings, and you're going to get a shot to take down Fluffy here in just a minute. Well, Marty, you played a very good game, sir. Unfortunately, Mark got the better of you on that one. But we thank you for playing, and we've got those nice parting gifts for you. We'll hopefully have you back again on a future episode, all right? So with that said, Mark, $1,100 added to your winnings brings your total now up to $37,000 even. And you have a shot to take down our dragon in that bonus round. Come on over. Mark, welcome into the bonus land. Remember how this works. We got nine numbers up there on the board. We got cash amounts. We've got a tick. We got a tack. And of course, we have that creature from the Black Lagoon in the center there. Your objective, of course, is to get yourself a thousand dollars or find the tick in the tack before you run the dragon. If you just do, you will be a big winner. Now you get to a thousand dollars. We'll multiply the t cash in the pot times the remaining uncovered boxes still on the board. However, if you find Tick and Tech on any of your two picks, you win the Tic Tac jackpot, which currently stands at $11,000. If you find the Tick and Tech on your first two picks, however, we'll double it to $22,000. And as long as you find Tick and Tech, you could, you'll have a shot to play our super bonus game to earn even more money. Now, as always, if you have a fear of the dragon at any time, you can stop and take the money you've won and walk, walk away. All right? So if you're ready, best of luck to you. We're going to shuffle the board around. Fluffy's going to go hide somewhere. And when you are ready, you can start picking and get some help from the audience if you like. Good luck. Fluffy, stay home. Starting, in, eight. starting with the, cave, the dragon's cave, we call it here number on the show. Eight. Number eight it is. Behind number eight, what do we have? We have $300. All right. Three hundred dollars is what you've got so far, Mark. You need seven hundred more or ticket tack. What would you like? Six. Number six, right side of the board, looking for some more money behind six. There's a tick. Whoa. Find me a tack. It's worth eleven thousand dollars. Nine. Number nine. Connect the two in the corner. Number nine gives us five hundred more. That brings you up to eight hundred dollars now. You need two hundred or the tack. Climb the tree, number three. Go on all the way to climb the tree in the woods for the win, number three. There was a winner! Congratulations, Mark. That's $1,200. Multiply that by the five boxes remaining on the board there. Gives you a grand total for this bonus round of an even $6,000. Added to what you've previous one here 
here. You now have a three game total of a nice even amount, $43,000. Congratulations to you. And now we're going to take a look and see uh, where the drip where the dragon was hiding, where all the cash, rest of the cash amount was, and that tack, more importantly. Let's see, one, two, four, five, and seven, where was it? Look at that, right down the middle there. Tick was six, tack was number five, dragon was hiding behind number four. Well, congratulations there. Uh, that is, um, again, a big win for Mark now, up to $43,000. In winnings, uh, we didn't get the jackpot this time, so we're going to add another thousand dollars to it on our next game. So, Mark's got forty three thousand dollars, and we have this commercial break for you guys out there in TV land. We'll be back with another game of Tic Tac Go right after this. So, stay with us. Welcome back to Tic Tac Toe. Mark now up to $43,000 with that big win in our bonus round. And he's ready to take on our next opponent. So let's meet him now. Playing in the circle position this time, we have Chris Rahman. Chris, welcome in. Thank you for having me. Our good buddy from Palm Bay, Florida, back with us once again. I have, he had one win earlier this season, just a couple episodes back. You ready to see if you can get back in that champion's chair once again? Yes. All right, well, let's see if you can do it. Best of luck to you both. Gentlemen, let's get right into our game and take a look at the nine subjects we'll be using in this game of Tic-Tac-Toe, and they are the following. We have places, foolish phrases, secret category, double or nothing, events, take a letter, entertainment, general knowledge, and finally, player pass. Now, our reminder players and our blue category of foolish phrases, consider it like a mad gab. I will show you a statement in the chat you folks at home will see it on the screen it's not what you see it's what you hear of a particular statement that i'm looking for if you give me the correct statement you'll collect the box on that category okay so with that said mark you're still the champion go ahead and select i'll take a letter i choose a letter wait sorry <laughs> wrong wrong game <laughs> show it's not wheel for the super it it, sh it right? should be <laughs> Considering I'm using this category. Anyway, um, here comes your question or take a letter, Mark. Your letter this time is L. Letter L. What okay. L is an item found in an auction or the what, what the winner gets in the bonus round of Sale the Century? Oh, I've played Sale a few times on your channel already. It's the lot. It is the lot. You're correct. Put an X on the board. Well done. Start off with $200 in the pot as we shuffle. <laughs> Chris, over to you. Let's go take a letter, please. He likes to take a letter as well. Other side of the board, here comes your take a letter question, sir. Choose a letter. Let's do it. <laughs> See, now he's doing it to me. All right. All right. Um, Chris, your letter this time is S. Letter S. What S is the royal house of Bonnie Prince Charlie or is the... First is the surname of a famous m movie mouse with the last name of Little. For the box, name him. Something Little. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I got nothing, I'm afraid. Oh. Uh, so Stuart Little. Yes, yeah, Stuart. Oh. Stuart's what we were looking for there, so. Ah, so that's what it is. Yep, can't give you the box on that one, so we we'll remain with $200. In the pot, we shuffle again. <laughs> Mark, back to you. Uh, okay, well, we seem to be having a lot of fun with this category. Take a letter. Choose a letter. Again. <laughs> now everybody's doing it now. All right. Mm. All right. Here comes your take a letter question. Mark your letter is R this time. Letter R. What R do you do when wearing jodhpurs or on a roller coaster? Uh, say that again. What R do you do when you're wearing jodhpurs? I think it's supposed to be jodhoppers. I think I mistyped here in my card. Wearing jodhoppers or on a roller coaster? And it starts with the letter R, you said, yes. right? Okay. Uh, 
Ride. Ride is the correct answer. You got it. Well done. Oh. Put next on the board. That's what I was about to say. There you go. $400 in the pot. Two X's for Mark. With He's got the lead as we shuffle. Chris, over to you. General knowledge for the block. All right. Upper left-hand corner. Going with a different category this time. Get this question correct under general knowledge, and you will have a block of Mark. Here comes your question, sir. Okay. All right, Chris. Author Hans Christian Andersen, philosopher... Soren Kierkegaard, pianist Victor Borg, and dancer Peter Martins were all born at what European country? Is it Norway, Sweden, or Denmark? Um, Denmark? Denmark is the correct answer. You got the block. Well done. Oh, I was stuck. Okay. Was stuck. Put a circle on the... You got it. $600 in the pot. Chris has got a block, and we shuffle the categories again. Okay. Mark, back to you. All right. Something tells me this might not be as easy as I thought it would have been. Entertainment. All right. Going entertainment in the lower left-hand corner. Here comes your question under entertainment, sir. All right, here it is for you, Mark. True or false? The director of the 2009 Star Trek film is the same person who created the TV series Lost. Again, the director of the 2009 Star Trek film is the same person who created the TV series Lost. Is that true or false? Uh, I'm going to say that that's false. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Oh. It was actually true. Both series... The movie was directed and the TV series was created by J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams uh, is what we're looking for there. So it was true, so I can't give you the box, so we remain with $600 in the pot, and we shuffle. Chris, over to you. Um, let's see. Double or nothing. Ooh. I'm trying his luck with the double or nothing category. Of course, you have a chance to earn two boxes in the same category here on this one. I'll ask you a first double nothing question. If you get it right, you have a chance to earn play for a second box or just keep the one you have. Here comes your first half of your double or nothing question, Chris. Okay. Which state has the most seats in the ho American House of Representatives? Again, what state has the most seats in the American House of Representatives? Is it A, New York, B, California, C, Texas, or D, Pennsylvania? I'm going to take a wild guess say California. California is the correct answer. Now, How did... do you want to keep that box, or do you want to risk it and go for double or nothing? Well, that player pass category seems really sick. I'm going to keep... You're just going to keep the box? Yeah, right where it okay, is. Okay, fair enough. Put a no on the board, then. He has $800 in the pot now. We'll shuffle the categories once again. And Mark, we're over to you. Okay, uh, I guess I'll have to uh, do double or nothing the block. Okay, you're taking double or nothing there. Okay, chance for you to earn two boxes in the same turn. Here comes your first part of your double or nothing question, sir. What does the word surly mean? What does the word surly mean? That's S-U-R-L-Y, surly. What does it mean? Is it A, certainly, B, over, C, bad-tempered, or D, dirty? I think you'd be bad-tempered. That is correct. So, do you, question to you now is, would you like to keep that box, or would you like to risk it and go for double or nothing? I am going to... Well, if I want to keep my title alive, I'm going to have to risk it, and I will do take a letter. All right, going with take a letter in the center box. All right. Going for double... You get both boxes on this one, or nothing at all here. Again... Take a letter is the category. It's a two-part question for the center box. You'll, of course, have some extra time to think about it. Um, you take a letter, two-part take a letter question starts with, the first one starts with letter E. Letter E. Here's the first one. Mark, what E are the Mongoloid peoples of the Arctic region? What E are the Mongoloid peoples of the Arctic region? That's the first one. And the second one is letter A. Letter A. What A is a list of things to be dealt with at a meeting. What A is a list of the things to be dealt with at a meeting? Those are your two questions. Take some time to think about.
Alright, Mark, which one would you like to start with? The E or the A? I think I know both of these, but I think I'm going to take the A one first. Okay. For the A, what A is a list of things to be dealt with at a meeting? Agenda. Agenda is correct. Now, for the double or nothing, tic-tac-toe, and $1,300, what E are the Mongoloid peoples of the Arctic? Eskimos. That is correct for Tic Tac Dell, you got it. Well done to you, Mark. Congratulations. The double or nothing play worked out well. And you've got yourself another $1,300. And you're going to be headed on to the bonus round in just a moment. Chris, unfortunately, this is where we got to say goodbye to you. But hopefully you played a, you played a really good game. We give you our thanks for playing. And we'll have some nice parting gifts for you. All right. So with that said, Mark, you've got yourself a grand total now of $44,300. Let's go see if you can add another $12,000 or more to it in our bonus round. Come on over. All right, Mark, welcome back to Bonus Land here. You remember how this works, but just in case you've forgotten... Remember the nine numbers up there? You're trying to get to $1,000 or find Ticket Tech before you run smack dab into Fluffy. If you do, you, you win the, you'll win the prize. So now, of course, you get the $1,000 and multiply your winnings by the number of uncovered boxes up there. Find Ticket Tech this time, however, your Ticket Tech jackpot is standing at $12,000. So that means if you find Ticket Tech in your first two picks, we double it to $24,000. All right. So best of luck to you. We're going to shuffle the board around once again. Well, he's going to go hide, and hopefully we don't run into him until we absolutely need him. So, Mark, when you're ready, start picking, and good luck. Did he move off of number four? Because that's what I'm starting with. Well, as he was there last time. Hopefully he doesn't return to the same spot, cause, but he is notoriously lazy here. Let's see. Number four. Nope, we have a tick. Okay. Find me a tax, sir, and that is worth twenty-four thousand dollars. Seven. Top bottom is what he's looking for. Lucky seven for the big win. Number seven. We got a double winner. <laughs> Congratulations! That is twenty-four thousand dollars, sir. Well done. But now you have a chance to. Win the win the mega prize here, and going for quadruple your winnings here. Seven boxes on the board. Six of them have cash amounts. One of them has the dragon behind it. If you find the dragon, I'll double your winnings again to forty-eight thousand dollars. If you don't find the dragon, whatever cash amount that you find on the board, multiply it by ten and add it to your winnings. You found tick. You found tech. Can you find my dragon? Eight. He says number eight. Hopefully the dragon is in his cave and he's home for the win for $48,000. Do we have a dragon? Oh, oh, no. We only have 250 but that's okay. Well, that's worth another $2,500. Added to the jackpot winning, sir. That gives you a grand total for this bonus round. A fourteen thousand five hundred dollars added to everything you want. You now have a four-game cash winnings total of fifty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars. Congratulations to you! But we got seven, six numbers left up there on the board. Let's look at them: one, two, three, five, six, and nine. Where was the dragon hiding? I'm thinking it's somewhere like maybe I'm going to say six. Let's take a look. Let's see, where was the dragon? That called it right there. Fluffy behind number six. Perfect spot for me, but congratulations. Yep. Congratulations to Mark there again. A big winner now. Four games in a row now. A grand total of $58,800. And Mark will be back with us on our next episode to defend his title once again. 
So we thank you all for watching. We've had a fun-filled episode of Tic Tac Doe right here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it watching at home. And thank you for your continued support here at MVG Productions. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and want to see more great gaming action here, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until the war of X's and O's is waged once again, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time right here on another new episode of Tic Tac Doe. Take care. Bye for now, folks. Some of our party suggestions will receive candles, raviolios, and spaghettios. And eat cake cheesy to eat with a spoon. Uh-oh, with spaghettios and raviolios. And Vaseline, there's new lip care to eat chapstick. Most of the best chapstick is frequently used to me. Never go to chapstick again from Vaseline. And Mr. Coffee Ultrasonic System. Space Age Technology is the best cup of coffee on this planet or any other planet by Mr. Coffee. Alright, Chapstick, now it's more great taste than this is sweet. More flavors that want to say, I want to pop. Alright, Chapstick. A salad ball supplies 17 salad dressings. Most of the salad dressings is the only family in love. Who makes the salad dressing? You and 17. A dry cream is 15 more than you want. A bleach substitute that gets white clean and white and gets out stains and even clears up your toe. Use automatic shut off iron. Take the worry out of iron. The piece lets you know it's lifted on and it shuts off automatically. GE, -E, Imagination Network. And one lucky member of our studio audience will receive the Enterprise Battery Operator Wall Clock and a Walnut Finish Gift. A timely gift from West Clock, a Tally Industries Company. Yeah. A Barian and Mike Production in association with MBG Production.